The engines on the mountain railway were excited. They were helping to build a new line. It would take visitors to even more beautiful places on the island of Sodor. Sir Topham had arrived with important news. The grand opening is this afternoon. I want to see the new line from the air. Lady Hat and I will arrive on Harold the helicopter. Just then, Scarloe chugged in. You're late for the announcement, complained Sir Topham Hat. Really useful engines are never late. I'm sorry, sir. At the airfield, there was another problem. Engine trouble, said the pilot. Harold's not going anywhere today. Lady Hat was most upset. But I've been looking forward to the grand opening all week. And I, my dear, will find a solution. And he did. Topham, you cannot be serious. Me, right in this? The wind direction is perfect. We'll be there in no time. Soon the hot air balloon rose into the sky. But Scarloe was upset. All this extra work is going to make me late again. The hot air balloon was floating peacefully through the sky. Lady Hat was enjoying herself. The new line looks splendid, she said. Thank you, my dear, replied Sir Topham Hat. Down the track, the workmen were still loading their ladders. Hurry up! Hurry up! Scarloe puffed. If Scarloe doesn't hurry, sighed Sir Topham Hat, he'll be late again. All the engines were ready for the grand opening. Where's Scarloe? Rusty asked. He promised to be on time, said Peter Sam. At last, Scarloe was on his way. Then there was trouble. The balloon's flames suddenly went out. The air in the balloon cooled, and the balloon started to fall. Hold tight, the pilot called. I want to get out, demanded Lady Hat. Not now, dear, said Sir Topham Hat. The balloon's going to land in the tree, cried Scarlow. And it came down, right in front of Scarlow. There's a top of hat. My hat is ruined, cried Lady Hat. So is mine, said Sir Topham Hat. Don't worry, called Scarloe's driver. We'll soon have you down. Am I glad to see you, Scarloe? Thank you, sir. Before long, Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat were safely on the ground. They boarded Scarloe's boxcar and set off at once. Everyone was waiting as Scarloe brought his important passengers to the grand opening. Sir Topham Hatt declared the new line open. With special thanks to Scarloe, he said, for helping us get here. Everyone cheered. Even so, you were still late, teased Rusty. I know, said Scarloe, but because I was late, Sir Topham Hatt was right on time. <laughs> <laughs>